Hi, I'm Michelle Kunz, here to talk about the zombie notes on bradycardia and heart blocks. So these zombie notes are available at my website, which is michellekunz.com, and that's Michelle with one L, michellekunz.com. And actually, if you wanted one of these study guides, you can go right to my website, and there's a link right to amazon.com, so it's easy to get to. If you're taking one of my classes, especially the ACLS class, this Zombie Notes is embedded right in the ACLS study guide, so that is available for the um, individuals taking my class. But if you can't take my class, this study guide is very helpful. It's a simple, very simple way to get over and learn the heart blocks. Now the heart blocks for me, and I was an ICU nurse, it took actually, I think, years for me to understand and identify the heart blocks. And there are only four heart blocks. So on one side of the study guide, I have the four names and four definitions. And I think you probably know that there's first degree, secondary type one, secondary type two, and third degree. So on the first side of this is the names and a little brief explanation of what the heart block would look like based on the relationship of the P wave and the QRSs. And if you go to the back of the zombie notes, there are clear pictures of each of the heart blocks. And it's a clear picture. You could measure a wide PR interval. You could see that the PR interval gets longer, longer, longer drop. You could see in secondary type 2 that every time there's a QRS, it's married to a P wave. And you could also see in the last picture in third degree heart block that there's no relationship or no consistent relationship between the P's and the QRS waves. So that's what's explained on the front of the zombie notes. And you could see that in the pictures on the back. So very simple way to understand the four heart blocks. Now you'll also have to go to my website michellekunz.com because there will be a video of bradycardia and the heart blocks with a full explanation of each of the heart blocks so you could really understand them. There will also be a zombie note types of video about how we treat the heart blocks and bradycardia. So if you have any questions about this, you could probably find more information at my website, michellekunz.com. You can also contact me either by email, and some of you who have been to the classes also have my phone number. So feel free to contact me at any time. Any questions about heart blocks or any other topics about nursing or the classes that I offer. So thank you for your time, and I hope I hear from you soon.